my car is beyond disgusting at this point. <laughs> Thank you, birds. Good morning. So I just went to physical therapy and I had, I think it's called cupping when they put like those circular things and they like do kind of like a giant hickey on the back of my leg to help with my knee issues and it's a really weird sensation um i'm actually doing okay it's just it's really warm right now because like all the blood is flowing to that area so hopefully it helps solve my issues because it's been like i've been going to the physical therapist for two months for this and it's just been like ongoing pain for a while yeah fingers crossed that works but yeah i hope all of you are having a good day it's a really beautiful day here today and it's warm like it finally feels like spring but yeah so the rest of the day i have to work a little bit and i think i'm going to the beach later with luke which is what every vlog is <laughs> at this point. I think I'll cook something, so maybe I'll share with you guys like a little recipe. And I'll show you my leg hickeys when I get home because it's kind of hilarious. So I almost forgot I'm vlogging, but this is my lunch today. Some falafels, and I love this, that like it's made in Brittany. And so they put the little Breton marinière, like the, I'll insert a picture. It's like one of the symbols of Brittany. Then I'm making some veggies, and there is couscous in there that I'm going to add to it. Okay, so this is the finished product. It looks absolutely <laughs> disgusting. If I was to do this again, I would cook the falafel separately from this and like do the couscous and veggies together and then add the falafel on top because it's kind of just a big mush, but it's really good. So I'll put the like ingredients on the screen. I added some lemon as well and some vinegar at the end just to make the couscous part a little bit less dry. <laughs> Very exciting moment. Oh, why is this thing like, not focusing anymore? I got a package. I'm so excited. Let's open it. So yeah, I just got to put my package in from Bright Swimwear. Launched, I think last week, a new pattern. And it's so pretty. Oh wow, these are itty bitty. I didn't think they were this small. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, and this one came in the little baggie. So I got a black one and this new pattern. Let's take a look at the black one first. So I've had this like little triangle type of cane before from them. I love it. Um, let me take my sweater off so you can see better. Triangle, basically, very basic. Um, it has padding, but you can take it out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can take it out the sides. Um, so love that. It's such a nice like material very soft and everything and then i got little black bottoms to go with it these seem a lot smaller than they used to be because like this is itty bitty like hold on so this one i got in more of this style so i thought i'd be slightly more supportive and just like less prone to accidents um this i really like this is super cute and i think it's gonna hold the bait the boobies together <laughs> um i got this i got both in a large because uh pandemic weight so i just want to be comfy cozy this summer on the beach yeah these are just like a lot smaller than i ex expected like a lot smaller than i expected what i mean the material is really nice it's like still pretty soft these aren't lined like double lined but with a pattern that's kind of to be expected i'll try these on for you guys okay so my initial thoughts on this is that this is a large and i'm a c cup so i love this pattern it's so cute um you can kind of see like my scar but that's okay because we love our scars but yeah otherwise these bottoms are large as well so I don't really know who is supposed to be a medium or a small. It's fairly supportive. Yeah, definitely 
I feel like a sizing issue for me anyway, but I do love the pattern and the fit is really nice, but um Yeah, not the most inclusive sizing Okay, and here is the black one. This one's great. This one fits like amazing I will say I was a little bit worried about the bottoms as you can probably see in my reaction But it's actually perfect like they seemed itty bitty but I feel like on I mean obviously it's like a you know brazilian cut but on i don't feel overly exposed which i thought i would if you're someone who typically has like the issue of your bottoms kind of being eaten by your butt and like bunching in your butt uh this cut is actually just like super liberating because either way like your butt's gonna show so might as well just have a cut that's like more comfortable and that shows your butt off like your butt's gonna show either way very pleased with this one the back is like adjustable very happy hi so it's a few hours later so i did all my work i'm an english tutor so i was doing that all like on my computer for a few hours i am wiped i don't know if anyone else is like really tired lately for absolutely no reason like i'm definitely getting enough sleep and i just got ready to go we're going to the beach put on like i haven't worn these pants ever i don't like a few times because they're kind of see-through but i figure i'm going to the beach so it doesn't really matter like you can kind of see like the bikini through it but that's okay i like I don't know how I feel about my body right now. <laughs> I've obviously gained some weight because of like pandemic and there's just been like, I just can't work out outside the gym. It's just not the same. I just don't have the willpower. It just doesn't work for me. So I've become like a little bit more soft and round and it's just like getting used to it. So I do feel like gigantic in these pants, but I'm just going to embrace it and go with it. Show you the full look. Yeah. So the full pant is like that, very wide. Oh my god, I feel like I feel so big, but it's okay. <sighs> Embracing our bodies. It's a constant struggle. I mean, it's just a constant struggle. No. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday because my battery died. Um, I'm mean, usually better at preparing for that, but not this time. I sat down. Um, but basically, we're just having like a really lazy day, which feels really nice. It's actually so hot out, which I'm not used to, not expecting. So that's like also just been nice to kind of just lazy about in the sun. I laid out and tanned a little bit. I kind of have a bit of a sunburn I think going on <laughs> um it just feels so nice to have like heat on my skin and I just did a little workout and yeah and I made peanut butter cookies I'll show you those in a sec here are my peanut butter cookies I made most of them I'll show you here most of them are small but I got kind of sick of making small ones and I wanted bigger ones so I made four big ones I used the New York Times recipe. It was so easy and just like they're really good. They're a little dry, so if anyone has tips on how to make them less dry, let me know. It's super good. It's super, super yummy. Regardez-moi cette sportive. <laughs> C'est incroyable. Mais vrai. Wow. Les transitions. Wow. <laughs> Vous n'entendez pas la caméra, mais elle est essoufflée. <rire> oh, Vas-y, cette tête. Tu me fais perdre mon centre. Ah oui. So I'm back in the kitchen. We're having kind of like a little smorgasbord tonight. So yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'm 
we're making having some tzatziki um some cheese some conte which is so good and then we're trying these out these are pakoras i've never had them before i've never even actually heard of them and they're these kind of like veggie balls i guess so very excited about those but yeah trying to make some more healthy kind of boards because for the past few months we've been having a lot of saucisson which is um like cured sausage basically and i can just feel like my body not feeling good after eating that it's just so salty and so fatty i love it but we need a little break from it so i'm gonna go i'm gonna make this put this together and then we're probably gonna watch oh we started watching this new show called the serpent on netflix and it's really good it's like a mystery it's a drama basically drama mystery there's like a people getting murdered and all that and it's set in the 70s which is kind of fun so yeah, check it out if you need something new to watch.